Alrighty, let's dive into a whole new week of gaming and check out what's dropping. Kicking off on October 6th, the third installment in the D&D inspired Baldur's Gate series lands on PC. Whilst the staple RPG elements return, combat will be turn-based for the first time in the series. Also on the 6th is Gravity Field, a logic puzzle game that likely doesn't do too much to shake up the formula, but it looks cool, piqued my interest, and you have no control over this script, so deal with it. Though this next arrival checks none of those previous boxes. Nickelodeon Kart Races 2 Grand Prix is both far too long a title and the sequel to the 2018 Kart Racer. It's more of the same here. Some modern characters, some retro characters, and uh, Jojo Siwa. Rounding out Tuesday's releases is FIFA 21. Well, it is if you have the Ultimate or Champion editions. Standard edition owners will have to wait until Friday to be able to kick a FIFA once again. October 8th sees Ride 4 burn its way onto the scene, and if you're a fan of two wheels and a whole lot of shiny surfaces, you'll at least enjoy watching the game's trailers, and maybe even enjoy the game itself. Eichenfell also arrives on Thursday, delving into some wonderfully retro turn-based RPG tones, over 100 enemy types to battle, and most importantly, cats everywhere. If you like cats. I also, the watchmaker finally arrives on consoles this Thursday. Be warned though, whilst its multi-genre steampunk charm is easy to get sucked into, as the name suggests, you'll have constantly crushing time limits to adhere to. So if you're down for some punishment, watch away. Finally, on October 9th, Biomass makes its debut on PC. Set within a sinking metropolis, the action RPG really just feels like an excuse for devs final scene to make themselves some pixel lightsabers. Or as they say, beam sabers. <laughs> Team 17 is back once again, doing what they do best. Um, making fairly fun games. That's what they do best. The Survivalist is, unsurprisingly, a survival game. Grab loot, get quests from washed up survivors, and if you're playing co-op, question just how worth it your friendship is. Maybe just a ball is all you need. Well done! The game also arrives on PC on the 10th. Now let's take a deep breath. Relax. MindVR Exploration is a stunning, meditative, immersive sim. Meditative? Is that how you say that word? You'll experience Chinese architecture, poems, meditative processes, and just generally, maybe, possibly, chill out. And this year, for the low, low price of yet to be announced, the possibility of chilling out sounds pretty dang good. But that was what's dropping. Have you got a favorite in that list? Well, let us know in the straw poll down below, and the best ones will be featured either on our Twitch channel live or here in a first play on YouTube. And if you want more of us in your face, our Miss Marvel themed podcast where we broke down Kamala Khan's first ever turn in the Marvel Universe is live here and on Spotify right now. And you can also hear all the latest news from the week that was in the latest edition of the upload. You can check all that out here and whilst you're here don't forget to hit that subscribe, like and whatever other function YouTube may have put in in the next 20 years. But until the next video, uh, bye bye I can't turn that much. Bye bye. bye.